Hi guys, and welcome back to Stories, The Path of Destinies. Now last time, we were a fox with a giant sword, and we were supposed to protect that rabbit. We didn't. Anyway, apart from that, we're now looking for another rabbit, and yeah, some other stuff. So let's go, shall we? Let me into the game. Let me in. Do, 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 do. Annoying loading screen that takes forever. And we're back. Right, enough of that boring loading screen. Oh, wait, let's smash some stuff. Let's go. Smash, smash. I love how the health is apples. Well, I thought as a fox that apples wouldn't have been that uh, prevalent to him, but, you know, because surely he'd eat meat, but who am I to assume what he eats and what he doesn't eat? I can now sprint. Wait, how do I sprint? There you go. I can now sprint, which is pretty cool. You got such delicious looking eyeballs. Yeah. Thank you. I think. Seven Woo! 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 Look at me, Dash! The fighting mechanic in this game is so cool. You come here. Yeah, you come here. You come here to me. I'm gonna borrow you and I'm gonna smash you. And I'm gonna shift over. Yeah, you can't get me. That I just really 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 like the fighting mechanic it's just so cool woo I level up no oh well was that it is there anything around here oh, that's a bridge I could do I felt a chill run down his back or possibly a flea yeah, if you got fleas man I think you need to check that out I'm just saying yeah civilized animal and all that right Do I... Can I not do that yet? No, okay. Fine. Barrels! Yeah! Smashing! It's like in the Lego games. I just love in the Lego games how you can go and smash stuff. And just keep going with it. I love that. Can I not get here? Okay. I don't know where my rabbity friend is, but I like exploring. Don't so. we just agree to disagree? Said Renato. No? Woo! Woo! Kaboom! I love how they wait for you. Oh, okay, now I got that XP point. Give it to me. Give it to me! I think I could get these. Combos. Attack immediately when the previous attack hits the ladder double strike. Bonus damage and double combo. He missed his old skills. Yeah. He welcomed them back like it was at a reunion. Oh, that's nice. I just like to punch things or stab them with my giant sword. No metaphor for that. Take what you will. <laughs> Woo! Get my health back. I don't know where I'm going, but I like to walk and I like to fight. So give me more booties. Is that Dirty the rabbit? And bloody. Renato finally reached Lapino. Woo! The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Oh, okay. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite Ooh. deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats. So we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia. We find out what she knows. And that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, Captain okay, the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and oh, his only daughter. That would be worth it. Woo, On let's do the it then. Hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. <laughs> do I go for the daughter, who's a cat? And I'm pretty sure the general is a toad, but let's not get into weird cat toad phonetics. Uh, or go for this bomb. I'm still gonna go for the cat. Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in sword. Woo! School. Cat people! And you're still mad for her. The rabbit reminded him. Rude. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. A cat. She knows all the Emperor's plans. Chuckled the master spy. 
She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. Let's make a band of weird fighting people. Cat, fox, and rabbits, unite! Right. It was good to practice your moves, thought Renardo. Keeps you limber. Hey, game. Just because I'm flashing my sword about. Ooh, a chest! Give me ore. That's a lot of ore. And wind essence. Yes, please. Also, guys, I apologise. I still have a very itchy nose. I'm still not very well. On that thought. Achoo! Achoo! Yeah. Bless me. My face. Bless my face. Right. Let's go. Are you dead? Ah, there's a lot of rabbit gods here. Who are dead. Hello, dead people. Oh, it reminds me of the rabbit I killed. Oops. Oh well. Is that important? Okay, no. Hero wall. Hero sword. Ice wall. Ice. Cube. Hey, game, why are you talking to me when I'm trying to? Wrong sword. I don't have another sword. Haha, <laughs> dead. I sneaked up on you, and I stabbed you dead. I have all these things. With materials like this, he could probably make a really nice pair of barbecue tongs. Yeah. Or even a sword. No, I prefer the barbecue tongs. Gotta be honest. They really hurt. They really, really hurt. Gotta be more careful. Huh? A lever? That was new. Most people still use doorknobs. Uh oh. Ah well, both at the same time. Oh yeah, that worked out. I have no health. I will probably die. I didn't realise how much they would hurt. Ah! Right. This is so cool. I'm really, really enjoying this. Come on, Mr. Fox, let's go. Um, can you give me health, rabbit man? Man of so, rabbits. What's this plan of yours? Hmm. Use me as bait, said Lapino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, <laughs> Lapino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. Yes, watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? Thought Renardo. His face. <laughs> go for a Pino's geese. Oh, why not? It'd be funny. Oh, this is going to be fun. <gasps> I've probably doomed this all, but that's so funny. His marvelous plan. Right, can I get some health, please? If I craft a sword now, it's going to be really short. No. Oh, it is. Damn it. Uh, ooh, new swords. Or oh, unwind um, essence. Okay, game. Okay, I see how it is. Give me health! Yeah, health. I was dying. One sword. When am I gonna get more swords? I need more swords. He wasn't that good. Yet. Hey, game. I was just checking. Wow. Much sarcasm. Don't hurt me, I have no health. And I'm a man on a mission. Woo! Woo! Stabbing. 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 Stabbing with my giant sword. You come here. I love how you can, like, bring them to you. You can't catch me. I'm too quick for your super cool moves. Oh, but now I need more health. Not enough health in this. A watermelon? One second. Oh, I'm gonna smash you first. Renato felt oh, damn it. about the whole plan. With every step, 
He was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. Uh. But against all odds, Pino's idiotic plan worked. Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese, the net dropped, and Renato jumped out of the watermelon Surprise! and sword Renato, she said. Are those new scars? They look good on you. Don't talk you to me, cats. You my velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. <laughs> oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Oh, get a room, you two, said Latino. But the fleet was coming on fast. So they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. She'd vanished from Swordfu School, from his life, without even saying goodbye. Without ever telling him she was the Emperor's adopted oh, daughter. Oh, adopted. That makes ah, sense. Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? She said wide-eyed. That's right, Kitty. And then she jumped with horror. Renato saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. Ah, oh, she'd head for the Imperial outpost. Yelled Lapino. You have to catch her. That was deep. Come on, cats. Why can't the cats, foxes, rabbits, toads, potatoes of this world all get together and be friends? Ooh, cutscene. Cats can run faster, but foxes can run longer. If he ran, he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, he did love a good chase. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Give me help. I felt a little better. Yes, I do. Right. Anyway, on that note, I'm not going to continue to in the next chapter. I'm going to leave that for the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. I am super duper enjoying this. The fighting mechanic in this game is so cool. Plus, I'm not dying. I mean, I was dying, but it's all okay. I'm fine. I didn't die. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, give it a like, comment, and a cheeky subscription. And don't forget, if you are subscribed to me, to tap that notification bell so you can hear when my next video is out. I will just be banging out this game. I'm in love with it. I just, I love in the gaming. The narrator, as much as it's reminding me of Stanley Parable, is also really, really funny, really engaging, making my life easier. I don't have to do all the voices of the characters, which is quite nice, but um, I just love everything about it. Oh, look at the sparkliness. Woo! Have dance! Have you ever felt you were just going around in circles? Bernardo felt like that. <laughs> I just got an achievement. Look. <laughs> Ah, well, on this spinning note, I'm going to leave that episode there. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!